in tires. We are running low on fuel. We need to fill up. Professor, there is a patrol bunk here. Well, that's done. Let's also check the air and see if we need to fill that also. Professor, why do we fill air in the tires? Early cars had solid rubber tires. And guess what? They did not even have any punctures. But it made for a very uncomfortable ride. Later on, air was filled in tires and it was a far more comfortable ride. But yes, we always need to make sure that the air pressure is correct. Oh, right, Professor. Thank God we do not need to be filled with air all the time. That would be horrible. Why do our eyes become red in some photographs? Oh, look at this picture of dog. It looks like he is going to attack all the food. I know it looks so funny. Here's a picture of you with cake on your face. The cake was very tasty. You know, my mouth still waters when I think about it. Oh my god, look at my picture. It's so horrible. Why? What's wrong? My eyes are red in color. I look like a ghost. Why do my eyes always turn red in photographs? Well, here's Professor. Let's ask him. Professor, look at Tiger's photo here. Why are his eyes red in the photo? This happens when you take photos at night with a flash. The flashlight enters your eyes and hits the retina, which is present at the back of the eyes. The retina acts like a mirror and the light is reflected back. Many small red blood vessels are present here. So the light that is reflected back gives the eyes a reddish appearance. How do I prevent this? It looks awful. I look like a devil. Simple. Don't look at the camera directly. Look sideways. Oh no, that's not my best profile. Tiger, you are vain then you should not crib when all of your snaps have red eyes. Why is it harder to climb upstairs and easier to come down? I have finally reached. The professor is here. Let me quickly take my seat. Good morning, children. Sit down. I think I've left my glasses in the staff room. Dog, could you please go and fetch them for me? Of course, professor. Thank you, dog. Please take your seat so that we can begin today's class. Professor, why is it difficult to climb a flight of stairs?
It is much easier when we go down. That's because of gravity. Gravity? What is gravity? Have you noticed that everything falls down? Like a fruit always falls down to the ground and even paper falls to the floor? That is because of gravity. The earth attracts everything towards its center. That is why when we climb down it is easier as we move closer to the earth's center. When we climb up, we have to use more energy because we are going against gravity and so we get tired easily. Professor, look, gravity. The books have fallen to the ground as gravity is pulling them towards the earth's center. Is that right? <laughs> yes, that's right. I think you have understood about the force of gravity very well. She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. <laughs> Snake, what happened? <laughs>